Kareem Danoui, owner of Newfound Pianos, has been restoring pianos for over a decade here in Newfoundland. Uh, Newfound Pianos started in 2003. I had uh, studied a bit in the trade here in Newfoundland as well as in England. And uh, I knew I wanted to continue with the trade. There wasn't many choices for me to join companies here in the province. Uh, so I knew I wanted to do it by myself or at least get a company going, but it was just me at the very beginning and I traveled far and wide on the island and tried to keep a client base here and uh, it's expanded through now for 10 years. It's, it's great that we're able to take something out of someone's home that they once initially thought was the end of the road for the instrument and yet bring it back to life completely. And a lot of these pianos, uh, you know, there's uh, an estimate of about 25,000 pianos on the island. Uh, and you know probably about 70 80 percent of these are uh, just a picture frame holder in, in most people's living rooms and and haven't been played in probably 20 30 years one of newfound piano specialties is player pianos these pianos use suction generated by foot pedals to play the keys it could take you decades or a lifetime to be exceptional at playing piano but only a few minutes to learn how to operate the player mechanism in a player piano player pianos read off a scroll, which is like a live sheet of music. Riley Stairs, who is a piano technician with Newfound Pianos, is kind of an expert. I mainly work with the actions of the pianos and the player mechanisms, everything from breaking them apart to cleaning, lubricating, replacing parts, and uh, there's a lot of parts to work with. So a player piano usually has up to around 50,000 pieces. So they're, they're very intricate and a lot, you have to handle each individual piece. <laughs> Music uh, has always been a big part of you know, the Newfoundland home and we've got you know, lots and lots of wonderful musicians in the province and they seem to be more and more by the day. It seems that music is, is in the blood of most Newfoundlanders and it's, it's always great to see what comes out of this province. Uh, I feel we're aiding that process and we're, you know, we always hear time and time again that uh, so-and-so or their daughter is sitting back down and learning to play the piano because the piano is properly functioning once again. So that, that's a great thing and a great thing to be part of. One of Kareem's most rare finds so far has been the Steinway player piano, which he discovered was once owned by Sir Eric Barron. The, the Steinway uh, player piano, um, Steinway's always been a world-renowned name in pianos. And it's, uh, you know, it's especially noteworthy that uh, they were allowed to, they were allowing a company to be able to put a player system in their pianos. Uh, player pianos were big in the 20s and 30s and even before that, as with this model, 1913. And a lot, a lot of it was happening in the U.S. Uh, the fact that this was fitted to a Steinway from Germany is something that's, you know, especially uh, interesting and interesting for us and it is the Rolls Royce of player pianos. It's lovely to have pianos uh, in my home and you know, I like the fact that I have the workshop attached to my home. So there's always something to play and there's always something to look at and they've just been such an intricate part of my life all along that um, I'm not really quite sure what I'd do if I didn't have a piano in the house. <laughs> and that's our key to leave. For Discover NL, I'm Gage Miranda.